Now, the difference between, well, one of the differences between the first budget and this budget is the request for a tax increase. So if you could just talk about that and other aspects of the budget so that we can kind of, you know, understand where you're coming from and then we can ask the individual departments, you know, uh, questions. Uh, members of council, <coughs> council, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, beautiful day. Uh, in specifics, questions about the individual bu uh, department budget, as you can see, uh, all the departments are back here to answer any of your questions. In general, in regards to the budget itself, I think uh, you may have read somewhere that this is perhaps uh, one of the hardest decisions of anyone in, in administrative or council member, and that is to increase uh, taxes to, to the public that we represent. What is in front of you, I think, is a, a statement of a 6.5% increase of your property tax uh, across the board, except for affordable housing rentals. <coughs> the reason, <coughs> excuse me, reason for that simply was there was a one unit classification we felt that should not um, be touched because of the times we are in. In regards to the necessity for raising the taxes, obviously that involves a lot of discussion of what and how much. In a very simplified manner, it was stated that after all different options was reviewed, that the best in regards to fairness for all was across the board 6.5% although there were a lot of pros and cons and, or, and discussion in regards to here or there or not here or not there. In regards to the why of 6.5%, I think from the very beginning, we all understood, meaning also the council, that there were so many things of the budget that was beyond our control. A good, <coughs> excuse me, good part of the raise was because of things of legislative or because of union. I pick it on the union element, using all round numbers of approximately $20 million short after all the cuts were made, each department was asked twice to go back and make additional cuts. And despite all of that, you still come in again approximately $20 million short uh, for to balance a budget to be presented to you. And of that alone, I think pay raises would account to approximately $8 million, which is still uh, basically unsettled. On the revenue side, I think was well publicized, and I know many of you, Mr. Kanuhu, uh, taking part in discussion of going to the state legislature to try to encourage a better and fairer distribution of the TAT to all counties, not just Hawaii County. And even at this point, we are planning for a lower end than what we all were hoped for. And it is a disappointing lower end. And, and if that comes true, then we're talking about our debt on revenues, approximately a $2 million shortage. <laughs> on the optimistic level, we were hoping for you know, quite a few million dollars increase instead of a cut. The tax increase of 6.5%. Obviously, it's not going to be well received by most people. I just need everyone to know, and I know you have to make the ultimate decision on approval, dis disapproval, or modification of whatever we propose to you. But I do feel, on the whole, that it was the best thing we could do, the fairest thing we could do, in regards to a presentation of a budget, uh, balanced budget to you. The expenses that I stated in regards to state legislative action or union wages are all beyond our control. The only revenue that we do control, unfortunately, is very, very, very limited. As you may know, there's 17 tax bases for this state, and only three of them are within the control of the county government. And the vast majority of that, as far as our revenues, is property tax. Approximately, again, about 71, 72% is from property tax. So that's where they're going to carry the burden of it again. In regards to department by department, the first uh, instructions to all of them was cut. We didn't know at that early date what the shortage was going to be, but we knew it was going to be short. The second time around, it was again cut. They came to the point of discussion, I would not support nor promote any fur uh, furloughs for this county. 
Number two, I would not support or promote in regards to removal of positions that were there. On a very easy example, if money was not an issue, as I told the police chief, uh, we could easily double the police department forces and still be short. I think uh, some of you obviously represent, especially of the rural areas that have made newspaper uh, uh, issues lately, like Ka'u and like Puna. Uh, the shortage of police officers there is not disputed, it's well known. Uh, we do wish we had the money to give to the police department to increase the services there. I am confident, as I told Kona the day before yesterday, which was there for Rotary, that we can defend comfortably the, the entire budget as a good one in regards to choices that have to be made. I do not expect people to agree with our priorities, but I think our goal here today and the uh, days to come is to explain to you why these decisions were made. And in summary, the 6.5% tax had to be made to be uh, present to you a balanced budget for the expenses we thought uh, can be justified to you. Some of it are uh, uh, increases, and I know there are questions of why increase at this time. Let's take one that was a well-known uh, transit system. We increased their budget in regards to things that needed to be done uh, by approximately $600,000 addition to their budget. And even that, that's going to be short. We are grateful for on that one project that in a personal plea to Mayor Carwell and uh, uh, his staff to help us out as much as they can. And they have assured us that they will ship to us, I think, uh, within hopefully no later than uh, end of June, uh, five to seven buses for our use. These are buses that they rotate out of their fleet. And as even maybe a little embarrassing as may seem, their rejected buses are going to be uh, some of our good buses because they do have a tremendous maintenance program and those buses would not be put on the road unless it was good. And the only thing we have to pay for is the transportation of those buses to, to this island. And this has been past practice. They've been very uh, kind and gracious to us in giving us all that they can. I think all the uh, department heads are behind me. I think they are here ready to answer any of your specific questions we, within their budget. I'll use the mayor's office as an example. I think most all of the departments, except for a few like transit, uh, their budgets have been cut from this, pre this present year, including the mayor's office. And our cuts are not huge, but everyone had to was asked to review. And we reviewed it. Uh, and our cuts are small because our, basically our budget is very small. Now, the one that I can re recollect immediately was uh, we cut $12,000 and in a budget of $400 million. This seems like a you know, penny any, but it is. Uh, where you can cut that the twelve thousand dollars was uh, membership to the the, the, the NACO element, and we felt that we can receive exactly the same benefits without that membership dues. Again, the cabinet members are here to answer any questions. Uh, thank you for this opportunity for this explanation. Yeah. And you know, this might be an oversimplification, but would it be correct to say that the major contributors to you know our expense? increase would be the wages to the unions, right? Three unions we're looking at right now, right? Four, okay, firefighters and some HGA. Um, retirement benefits and health, health and retirement benefits and shortfall in TAT. That's kind of the major contributors, right? Okay, you know, yesterday we had two speakers from uh, Pahoa who actually said that the uh, tax increase was uh, long overdue. So I want your perspective on this. Is the tax increase, I don't know, I'm not saying that you subscribe to what they were saying, but just so that we're very clear, the tax increase from the, depart from the administration's perspective is to make up for this 
shortfall created by these three drivers, or is it because it's long overdue? And I mean, I, mm. I just want to make sure. I'm not laughing at your question, Mr. Yeah. Chang. <laughs> okay. But that's the first time I heard of that, so it kind of yeah. caught me off guard. Right. I'm really, I'm not apologizing for because I'm not laughing at your Cause question. Because they were actually supporting the tax increase, but they said it was long overdue, yeah. which in, indicates something other than making up for a budget shortfall, right? And I saw that in the media and uh, trying to put it in proper perspective here. It was kind of a enlightening thing to hear that right. someone to say a tax increase is overdue. <laughs> Uh, obviously, not obviously, but uh, th that is not true. The budget's principle is a very simple one, as you know. We are mandated to present to you a balanced budget. Balanced budget is you show what your uh, anticipated revenues are, and you show in regards to how you're going to spend it, you know, dollar for dollar. And if um, you don't need to raise revenues because uh, you have more than enough to pay for your, your expenditures. I don't think there's any person that would, that I know would raise the, because it's overdue. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the unfortunate raises are made with a full knowledge, and I do mean a full knowledge, and you and I have discussed this in private and other times, even before you, know, you take in office again or the hard times that people are having on this island. And that is so very true. And for government to realize that and still tax them for more, you know, that is not an easy decision, as you have stated. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just discount that as absolutely not true, that no consideration is made because it was overdue. But on that, you know, Surprisingly, like I went to Kona to speak to the Rotary, and I was very pleasantly surprised when some members did not use those words, but stated, and please, I'm not saying this is reflective of, but it was stated yesterday of uh, the amount they pay versus you know other places, and uh, very satisfied, wish they had more police and other things, but very satisfied and uh, services rendered. I think some of you who have been to the mainland as visitor or relatives or just friends know that this county here is very good in regards to free services. We, we're not fee-for-service type of mentality. So you go to the transfer station free, you go to the zoo free, every swimming pool is free, and the park is all free, and I, and I love that, really. So I know I'm, I'm really diverting from your question, but know that the raises Mr. Chung was made strictly to present to you a balanced budget based on the uh, services we wanted to provide for this county. And necessitated by those three drivers. Uh, and basically. other things, but mainly, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. 